This is the Kartorsky portrait of a young man. The name Kartorsky comes from the family that owned the painting up until the beginning of the Second World War. This precious work of Renaissance art was thought to be created in 1514 by the great artist Raphael Sanzio. This painting is currently missing due to the fact that it was stolen during World War II and was lost in history. Today, only copies and photographs of the original painting exist and scholars can only speculate that it was Raphael Sanzio who painted this great work. Raphael's portrait of a young man that is believed to be a self-portrait is a piece that gave us a glimpse of the life of one of the most famous artists of the Renaissance, but because of its missing status, the Nazis in World War II have ruined a priceless and vital part of Renaissance culture along with the private possession of the Kartorsky family, leaving us without an important artifact in the history of Western art. This is a known self-portrait of Raphael Sanzio. He was an Italian painter during the Renaissance. His works paralleled that of Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. A considerable amount of his works are found in the Vatican. Raphael grew up in the Italian countryside town called Urbino. Born in 1483, he was orphaned at the age of 11 when both of his parents died. Scholars have concluded that, although the original painting is missing, based on the other known self-portraits like this one from his most influential and stimulating painting, The School of Athens, they are relatively certain that it is Raphael in the painting. Concluding the lost portrait of a young man is a self-portrait of Raphael Sanzio himself provides us with a unique view into the history of a significant time period. The Renaissance was a rebirth of art, architecture, politics, science, and literature. As you look at his expensive fur draped over his left shoulder or the cityscape depicted in the window on the right, these are all distinct characteristics of a Raphael portrait. His style is one that paralleled that of his rivals but was easily distinguishable as a Raphael painting. After living in and absorbing the essence of Florence, Raphael was invited to the Vatican by Pope Julius II in 1508. He painted alongside Michelangelo, although in different locations around the Vatican. There, he was to paint the Vatican apartments and where his most known works are located called the Stanz. This is a series of four rooms where Raphael was commissioned to paint the featured floor to ceiling frescoes. His most known works from these frescoes are entitled The Dispute Over the Sacrament and The School of Athens. This is Pope Julius II who invited Raphael to Vatican City in 1508. Although he died in 1513, work continued on the Vatican frescoes until Raphael's death in 1520. Little is known of the location of the painting from its creation in 1514 to when Adam Jerzy Kartorski of Poland took a trip to Italy in 1798 and brought back the painting to his family gallery in Poland. This is the Kartorski Museum in Krakow, Poland. This is where the portrait of a young man was housed until war broke out in 1939, then moved to Sienwa, Poland, along with many other important works from the Kartorski collection. In September of 1939, Prince Augustine Kartorski moved the crates of various works to a cousin's estate in Pekiny, Poland. This is where the works were seized by the Gestapo and taken back to Krakow, Poland. High-ranking Nazi officials made selections from the collections of works and the Raphael portrait was most likely taken among them. The collection then went to Dresden in 1940 and stayed there for the majority of the war. As Dr. Hans Frank was evacuating Poland at the end of the war, the works ended up in his own villa in Neuhaus. After the war ended and Hans Frank was arrested, the Raphael portrait was discovered to be gone. Questions to what happened to the painting and others in the Kartorsky collection are still unanswered today. There is a large possibility that the works could have been destroyed in the wake of Hitler's Nero decree or simply lost in the shuffle of the Kartorsky collection when it changed locations at the beginning of the war to elude the Nazis. The loss of this painting was certainly unavoidable. The Kartorsky family did all they could to protect their family's collection from the Nazis. Unfortunately, Hitler and his ideals threatened the existence of culture, even if it was the culture he was trying to promote. The portrait of a young man is a perfect example of the unfortunate loss that can occur due to war.
This gives us a valuable lesson to learn in future wars to attempt to protect the culture of the people that are fighting. No matter the circumstances, the destruction of a group of people's culture is heartbreaking to someone. As it pertains to the portrait of a young man, losing a work of one of the Renaissance's most influential painters is not easy, especially when it appears to have vanished only 70 years ago. There is a vital lesson to be learned when such rich culture has been lost.